Oh, just a mail. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> uh, I got it and you didn't. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Freddy, 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 Freddy. Hey, a pamphlet. Oh, a pamphlet. What does it say? Oh, it says there's a really cool science fair going on in, in town, I guess. It says to submit your coolest science experiments to the... I, I don't know, actually. It, it just kind of says an address. It says it's tomorrow. That sounds kind of fun, actually. Ever since I was a wee little lad, I wanted to be just like my hero, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Oh. Well, that's lame. But Bill Nye's awesome. I do agree Bill Nye's cool, but not because of the stupid science nerd stuff he does. I'm a man of Christmas and Easter, which means I like God or something like that. I don't got time for no protons and neutrons and electrons and all that other periodic table. I don't need to be knowing what's going on with women's periods. Bonnie, that's not... Never mind. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do a bacon soda volcano. Those things always win. Oh, wait, it's like a competition? What do you win? You win, you win like, pudding or something? <gasps> I now have instant motivation to do this. Bonnie, but you're not even a scientist. You could, like, team up or something. I could help build the, the, the volcano. I love volcanoes. Uh, read page two. I'm sorry, Bonnie. It says only one person per team. Dang it! What other science things are there? Um, I mean, you could put, like, a balloon with baking soda and the, and the and, and vinegar and the, the bottle and make it inflate or something. It's kind of lame, though. That does sound lame. This sucks. Well, uh, I'm gonna go start getting, uh, working on my bacon soda volcano, Bonnie. Yeah, you figure your thing out. <laughs> Foxy can't win that pudding. I want the pudding! This is stupid! <clears throat> I only knocked three down. That was impressive. Dude, don't mess with my mail. This stuff's important. <clears throat> like what? You know, the bills to keep this house. Uh, and, uh... Ooh, there's a coupon for butt ointment in here. I need more of that. <sighs> Freddy, you're smart, right? Depends on who you ask. Okay. Uh, I'm asking you, so how smart are you? I give myself a seven, but again, like, depending on how you ask, that could go up or down in a couple numbers. <sighs> how do you make a science? Whoa, why do you need to make a science? Because I need to win this pudding, or else Boxy's gonna win it. He can't have that pudding. Oh, I want the pudding. I gotta have the pudding, Freddy. You don't understand. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Try to bake a soda volcano. Foxy's already doing that. Damn it, I'm out of ideas. <gasps> I'm never gonna win that pudding, and Foxy can have all the tasty pudding to himself! Hmm... Well, what if you try, uh, exercising your mind? What do you mean? Well, you know how people get all big and buff and strong by, like, you know, working out, lifting dumbbells, curling irons, all that stuff? Yeah? Well, what if you do that with your brain? You know, you just kinda, like, lifted up some dumbbells, you know, uh, curled the iron, uh, cooked a pizza... Hmm... I don't know, Freddy. Sounds kind of, I don't know, inefficient. I mean, come on. I mean, think about people like Nightmare Bonnie. I'm sure that he, you know, did just become smart all of a sudden one day. He probably did some brain exercises. Go cast him. But the nightmares hate us. I don't know. Maybe he'll help you out. Maybe if you cry enough, he'll help. I am pretty good at crying. See? Okay, but it's risky. You got this, champ. Go win that pudding. <sighs> You're right, Freddy. I'll show them. I'll show them all. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, tiger. What's that butt ointment coupon? Hey there, Nightmare Bonnie. Uh, what you working on? Oh, just my newest invention. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty great. Okay, well, me and them three were gonna go enact a new plan. Um, would you like to join? Yeah, sorry, Nightmare Fred, but I'm a little bit busy finishing this guy up. Uh, what is it, Nightmare Bonnie? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I'm also, uh, one, two, three or thirty in that notion, thirty in that notion. Well, if since you're so kindly asking, Nightmare Cupcake, would you like to be a test subject? Sure! Go. It walked toward me. So now what did- Ow! That was a really condensed explosion. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't affect any of us. You guys think he's gonna be okay? Eh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Well, uh, let's go uh, get Nightmare Cupcake. Come on, Freddy. Whoop! <sighs> Mangle, do you hear that? Or what? This kind of like something's under the vents. Oh god, Mangle, go get the big stick. I think something got into the vents again. <sighs> All right. Uh oh. Intruder! <laughs> no, 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 no! Sorry, your front door was locked. That was for a reason. Nightmare body, please! I need your help. You get away from me. Please, Nightmare Body! 
I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> don't get your disgusting tears on me. God, just what? What do you want? Oh, well, you see, Nightmare Bonnie, there's a science fair going on in the area. Oh, a science fair? That sounds fun. Uh, what does this mean to you and me? Well, you see, the winner gets a big cup of chocolate pudding. Oh, well, that's lame. It is not lame! To a smart person, I guess. And Foxy's trying to win that cup of chocolate pudding. But I can't let him have that. I want it! Why don't you just ask him to share? Share? Foxy would never share. I'm pretty sure Foxy's like a decent person. I, I think he would share that with you if you asked. Mm -mm. This way is easier. Okay, what is your way then? I gotta get big, big, smart, big, 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 big brain. Big, smart, big, big. And you have to help me with that. No, I don't. Please. I gotta exercise my brain just like you and be smart. Bonnie, the reason I was able to get as smart as I am is because I went to years and years of school studying quantum mechanics and physics and chemistry and stuff. It's, it's not just... It's not child's play. It's not going to happen in a day. Okay, well, what are those things that, uh, I don't know, buff people put in their bodies to, to get stronger faster? Are you talking about steroids? Get that! I want that! Bonnie, I'm not going to drug you. Besides, I don't even think something like that's possible. You couldn't possibly make a stimulant that would be able to exacerbate your brain capacity and make you smarter. Hmm, actually, hmm, now that I think about it, maybe that is possible. Tell you what, if I can come up with a serum in the next couple hours to jack up your brain, then sure, why not? It'll be a fun little experiment, and you'll get something out of it too. I want a spoon of that chocolate pudding though. Fine. I'll get right to work. Oh. Oops. Six and a half hours later. All right, pal, heads or tails? Um, tails. <laughs> How in the fuck? Fellas, I've done it again. Dude, we probably just made one of the greatest scientific discoveries in the world and you just ruined it. What is it? Never mind. Okay, well, Bonnie, here is your uh, smart theorem, I guess. Studied a couple of books on like quantum physics and real estate. You should be all good. Oh, boy! Ah. I won't be only smarter. No, oh, it's not that. It's just supposed to be able to increase your ingest of information. It's not going to just instantly make you smarter. Go pick up a book or something. I have to read. That's so boring. Oh my god. Here, it should also exacerbate your interest levels. Um, here, um, the Great Gatsby. Just read it. Fine, if you insist. That was, like, fun and interesting. And I learned so many literary concepts. Get him, champ. Go to the library. Go read every book you can. Okay, I'm gonna win that pudding. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never been so inspired. You don't think this could backfire, right? Probably not. Wow, oh, can't believe you just wasted all that genius and talent on someone else. That's very, you know, out of character for you, Nightmare Bonnie. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, that is out of character for me. What am I saying? I should be making something cool. I don't need no steroids. They might drug test them or something. If they do, then, yeah, well, I'm gonna win that chocolate pudding for myself. I'm gonna take it all, because I'm evil. And that's what nightmares do, right? I guess. Thank you, Mangle. You have really inspired me today. Um, I'm gonna work on a color-changing plastic that you have to use air to blow onto. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, thank you, Mangle. You're welcome. I guess I'm gonna go. All right, time to read some books. Okay, I believe I have done it. After ingesting all that knowledge, I believe I think I am the smartest person in this universe. I don't know how I've developed a British accent from doing this, but uh, that's probably its own phenomena I need researching. Like, I didn't even have any auditory response. It was merely just literature. Maybe I read too much European literature. I'd have to, I'd have to do more on that. Okay, how am I going to outclass a baking soda volcano? It's like the oldest trick in the book. Taking a look at this from a philosophical standpoint, I have to create something that's going to wow the judges, but also tug at their heartstrings. Hmm. I got it! I will create life! Not by a mere feasible way. It will be from my own two hands, my own flesh and blood. I will create a sun 
for them to all at. And then I will win that chocolate pudding. <laughs> <sighs> well, now I've read all those books. Hmm, what time is it? 10 o'clock! Oh my god, I have to get this done by the morning! Alright, alright. Sketch comes schematics. Throw together a couple of chemical compounds. <sighs> okay, I can do this, I can do this. I'm the smartest rabbit in the universe. This should not be too hot. Okay, that PNG comes out of some even math. I've got this. Must start with some molecular structure. Hmm. I'm sure one of these bumbling buffoons has something around here. It's perfect. Whoa, hey, Bonnie. Whoa, what's with the fit and the voice? Oh, um, see, Chica, I'm just merely uh, creating some scientific discoveries. Uh, do you mind if I use your plant? I plant. What do you need my plan for? It's the nearest thing available! Alright, you know what, whatever, I'll just give you the quick rundown. I'm trying to beat Foxy at a science fad, I need to create some kind of giant, marvelous scientific discovery. And I'm going to do that by using your plan to create my own artificial life, declare it as my son, and tug at the judge's heartstrings. It's a simple philosophical principle, really. A, impressive thing, plus B, emotions, equals C, success. Oh, well, I mean, if you are supposed to be a dad to this thing, wouldn't you need a mom? What are you suggesting? Hey, Bonnie, look at any other woman in the room. Uh, there is no other woman for me to look at. Dang, let me be the mom, dummy! Why? I don't know, maybe it'll enhance your story, and... I don't know, I kind of want to spend a little time with you. You know, this is this is unusual for you, and I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of into it. I'm not picking up on this. <laughs> Whatever, just take the stupid plant. I'm gonna tag along with you, at least. Thank you. You've saved this in the name of science! I guess if you want to tag along, you can. Yeah, what I said I was gonna do. All right. So I should start with a part of the plant. Um, let me grab the petal. Or oh, perhaps a more... Yes, I should probably use a part that's more likely to be alive. I'll grab a stem. There we are. All right, should use this uh, time to shape this into a dodecahedron. Dodeca what? All right, there we are. Well, how did you do that? Well, I essentially calculated the length and then the depth and then shaped it around, flattened it out, just kind of calculated a couple of different circumferences, depth, diameter. Well, I got this shape. I don't even... What even is a dodecahedron? Three-dimensional shape made up of 12 pentagons. But this is flat. Not question my ways, mistress. Oh, mistress, I'm liking this new you, Bonnie. Quiet, madame. This is merely for the pudding. Oh, God, there's something wrong with me, isn't there? Just whatever. All right, let me go grab some chemicals. Paint some of these on real fast. All right, all right, that's coated fairly evenly. Now I require one more catalyst to stabilize the reaction. What's that? One ground stick of plutonium. But Bonnie, isn't that like highly radioactive? Nonsense! Oh. Oh. <gasps> Chicken, come look. <sighs> what is it? Oh my god. Urethra. I've done it! Bonnie, it, it's Eureka, not not Urethra. That, that's what I said. No, you you definitely said Urethra, not Eureka. Eureka! Look at this, you're already teaching our child potty language! Did you said- oh my god. You are not proving yourself to be a good mother thus far. Alright, whatever. What time is the competition? Well, considering it's probably like five in the morning. Now! Take the child, mistress! Ah! Oh. Mama! Scary. How do you agree to this? So no backing down now. Come, post haste. On to this competition. Wait, what are we gonna name him? Her. It. I don't know. We'll call it Fazgu or something after Freddy. I don't. Let's just go with that. Hey, come on, Fazgu. That's not really a name. It's more like a. You know what? Whatever. This is in character at this point. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first annual Fazbear Hill Science Fair. It seems we have a turnout of about four contestants, and we're gonna go through each one to see who did the biggest science. Wait, there's one more. <sighs> Sorry I'm late, everyone. It appears a fifth competitor has arrived! Bonnie! Fox, you are going down. I will achieve this pudding and you will go home with nothing. What? What happened? I got really smart, that's what happened. <laughs> I see the rabbit has used his steroided brain to make some sort of measly invention. Well, I've got my thing here. I'm gonna beat you, rabbit. Wait, he's taking steroids? Uh-oh. Yeah, I gave him smart serum in order for, uh... For him to, you know, be smarter and stuff, so uh, he's not gonna win, obviously. I've got the b more natural intelligence. Well, considering you gave him a compound that hasn't yet been discovered, I don't really think that's against the rules. What? Oh, he's right. Nice going, idiot. Never! My natural intelligence will beat him out. Ooh, that was a close one. So where's your experiment, Bonnie? <sighs> Bonnie? Why? What? He's under the bib! You wanted some wow factor, I was gonna surprise them! I don't see what's wrong here. Okay. Whatever. What? What's wrong about this? 
I don't know, they're all very weird today. Okay, we're going to go left to right from where the camera's looking. Starting with you two, sir and madame, what do you have here as your science therapy project? Well, you see, sir, I have created a color-changing plastic, but not just any kind of color-changing plastic, a color-changing plastic that turns it when you produce it with a large quantity of air. <gasps> There it is. Wow, that's fairly impressive. Is that all it does? What? What do you mean is that all it does? It's color changing plastic with air. That's like the coolest thing ever. I mean, yeah, but what do you do with it? It could be used for like camouflage or like, uh, uh um, you could make a children's toy out of it. Can like it change into multiple colors or does it depend on the environment? Or? No, it's just on and off. Well, why wouldn't you just paint whatever you're trying to camouflage that color? What's the point of it changing? You can make a plane go from, like, sky blue to, like, black or something. Mm, three out of five. It's not flashy enough. I... I need some therapy after this. I think Oral... Or, bleh, oral. I think Orville recently had a position open up. I'm gonna need that. What about you two? Oh, I'm chaperoning. I have nothing to do with whatever the hell he's done here. Shut up, Mangle. My scientific genius knows no bounds. I painted a pumpkin green. It... Is that it? Um... Baby? Toy Bonnie, w what's the science here? Why is this... Why is this different? Because pumpkins aren't normally green. I can see that! But, like, what was your your scientific theory? You know, all, all that kind of stuff. Like, what, 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 what was the point of this? Um, I wanted to see if a pumpkin would turn green when you painted it green. Does green paint turn a pumpkin green? <sighs> Three out of five, it's kind of cute, I guess. I didn't get the same score as him! Time. I think I'm gonna need more than therapy. What's this now? Can I put on my showman voice? <clears throat> well, you see, sir, I have created a golden suit of armor. Wow, that's cool. Uh, what else does it do? You see, sir, it is malformed to fit any body type or shape. If you just touch the back of its head. <laughs> that was a cool sound effect. It wasn't a sound effect. Oh, I should. I knew I should have made it bigger, but I didn't have enough time. Are, are, are you okay? Oh, I'm in pain. Um... Should I call an ambulance? Do I get disqualified if you call an ambulance? Probably, as that means this is not intended. No! Oh, this is intended! I haven't even shown off the jet booster function yet! I think I may have jammed it because all my blood and guts are everywhere. This is gross. You're like losing points quick, dude. Let me just... Let me... Mind and blast! <laughs> Oh, bright light. Okay, that went up a couple points. Um, three and a half out of five. Let's go with that. I hope your medical bills aren't too expensive. Boom! She practically killed herself. I'm fine. And get out of it. Um, give me five minutes. All right, let's see what you have here, sir. Well, I created an old classic, uh, a baking soda volcano. If I just tap it with my hand. Ah, fluff and cool stuff. I also used elephant toothpaste or whatever that stuff is that Mark Rober told me what it was on YouTube. Oh, an elephant toothpaste baking soda volcano. Wait, I guess it's not a baking soda volcano at that point. Uh, shut up. Fair enough. Very impressed, very fun, love the scenery. And the foliage, that's very pretty. Thank you, I hand-painted it myself. Four stars! Ooh, that's gonna be hard to beat. I, oh, I'm done. I'm not, no, no more yelling. So far, Foxy is in the lead. Will our last contestant be able to top his amazing experiment? Uh, Bonnie, I think my chest is getting bigger. What? Like, I think our kid is, like, Fazgu or whatever is, like, getting larger. It's, like, starting to bulge the bib. Please, just stop! Stop talking! You're gonna get us demonetized. All right, so what do you two have? Please tell me, sir, that is not your science experiment. Oh, no, she's just hiding what's under the bib, which is the science experiment, which is for dramatic effect. Anyways, I, being myself, being a sad and fertile man... Wait, are you? Um... After the steroids, I might be. Anyways, I have not been able my entire life to have any of my own reproductive children. So I thought to myself, what if I could use the powers of science and the capabilities of my own fragile, shattered heart to create life? Introducing my son, Fazgu! <laughs> oh my god, dang, I wasn't kidding. It's all stretched now. <laughs> I died. Hello, 
son? I'm alive! Gee, I got a heart! Um... I am deeply disturbed about what I'm viewing. So you made a kid? Yep! Uh, I'm the mama. We're, we're, we're the star kid. Hmm? So... Where's the pudding? Sir, I... I hate to say this, but this is an abomination, a freak of nature. I... There was no science here. This is just merely compiling formulas. You used no laws of science or anything when creating this monster. Monster? That's a bit offensive to my kid. I'll have you sued for defamation. There, I... No, this is this is abomination. This is a freak of nature. You do not win. Zero stars. Bacon goes out of volcano wins. <laughs> I, oh, dang it. Uh, Daddy lost? I'm afraid so, son. Now that I've lost, I, uh... I'm hitting a real major midlife crisis. I do not know what to do with my life. Oh, God. Um, are you gonna be okay? Wow, the existentialism hit in real fast and I re- I, I kind of think I prefer being stupid because now I have way more knowledge than I need and nothing to do with it. I, oh my God. <laughs> you confused my daddy. What? <laughs> Daddy wins! Uh, is he dead? Let me go get your prize! Did we just witness a murder? Win pudding! Son, I I appreciate the gesture, but I you killed a man. Uh -huh. That's not good. Oh. I think we're gonna have to detain you or, or, or put you in a cell for the rest of your life, or probably pro 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 we're gonna have to take you out back. <laughs> God, you made him mad. Great. I killed Daddy. <laughs> we have injured the main perch patron of the science fair. Ah, the nightmare strike again. Daddy, oh my God. Ah, oh, I do. Oh. Dude, my ears just leaked a lot of fluid. Bonnie, are you okay? I think so, but I don't think I'm smart anymore. I think all the smart juices got splurged out of my brain. Don't, please, if the chest thing did not get us demonetized, it, that is going to. I, I guess you guys saved the day. What? We, we did? That wasn't a part of the plan at all! Oh, yeah! Damn, you're impressed. Wow. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm going home. Oh, no, this was not supposed to be cheering and clapping. This was supposed to be anger. Screaming terror for your lives. You're our hero. Ew, cooties. Get out of here. Oh. Well, you know, as much as your British accent was hot, I'm kind of happy things are back to normal. Me too, sister. Me too. Hey, wait a minute. I still got the pudding. Seeing as the guy that was supposed to reward it is dead, I think I've earned this. <laughs> Uh, ah. Bonnie, you, you've retroactively killed a man, and you also created an abomination against nature today. I don't think you earned anything. Well, the pudding's already in my stomach, so, yeah. <sighs> Wait till we make the story about in the flesh. Are you alive? Also, what are you talking about? Oh, guys, my stomach feels weird. <laughs> 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 <laughs>